previously on All Cars United. Is it illegal to drive this shit with no uh, <laughs> seatbelt? No, as long as you don't get caught, you're fine. Oh, all right. Well, when we're done with this drive here, superchargers in it. You're putting a supercharger in it? This roof was actually cut off and welded on because the original one flipped over a couple times. <laughs> so, and there's also, I have spare caps. I'll show you that in a little bit when we get back to the shop. Um, we had a, a little scare. He just literally put a gun to my head. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, but you kind of snuck up on me. The Hauser Mac doesn't look bad. Uh, the Bruno car guy almost pissed himself because of the Hauser Mac. But I guess it's my fault. He kind of, I didn't call your man, so I'm sorry. Yeah, there's a front door. I'll use that one next time. Now, we just left for riding my truck, the 59 Ford. The original frame has been all beefed up, but Due to the axles and the size of the tires, the motor and the strong braking system, the factory chassis just flexes way too much. So instead of trying to just keep reinforcing the original one, I have to start from scratch and design a completely new one. So this is what you see here. So I'm working on tonight when Bruno snuck up on me, almost got his head blown off. All right, so this chassis right here is for my 59 Ford, the one we just took a ride in. Small block Ford motor. This one's just a fake. This is called a mock-up block. It's like a styrofoam, it makes it a lot easier to design and build parts with a foam block instead of a real one because an engine completely assembled weighs a little over 500 pounds. It makes it very hard to work with. So, this is called a Mako block. This transmission is the real one. This is a C6. It's modified to a reverse manual valve body with a lower first and second gear planetaries. It's all billet parts made to handle extreme amounts of torque. This is just a shifter made for a reverse manual valve body. And uh, this whole chassis is made out of two inch DOM steel tubing, which stands for a drawn over mandrel. It's a seamless tubing made out of 1020 steel, so it's got a little bit of spring to it. So when it rolls over, it absorbs the shock instead of transferring it to drivetrain components or even worse the, the driver you so, designed that yourself right? yeah it took me about three years to design this I had a few other designs but this was the best one so it took more time to design than it did to build by right. far so what this is gonna have is four coil over shocks per corner about four feet long about 20 inches of travel four link front and rear suspension what that means is there's four links that hold the axle in place two uppers and two lowers and that's what locates the axle just like the monster trucks you see jumping over cars on TV right and uh, the radiator if you come back here the radiators in the back and also the fuel cell and the battery that's for better weight distribution and to keep things like the radiator safer originally I was going to do this truck rear engine right but, which is actually very common in an application like this but is it just because of the weight distribution, or why, yeah, why would weight it? weight distribution, but when a truck's in the air, if you gas it or hit the brakes, the inertia of the tires far exceed the weight of the engine. Okay. So, I found it better to put the engine up front, and then it's also going to have a Lexan floor, so when it's up in the air, you'll be able to see where you're going. Nice. And it'll also be able to be driven with a body on it, because the body's just going to be a shell. Got it. Not like a real body like the one you just drove in. Right. So when it's all said and done, it should be pretty pretty impressive. You'll be able to jump and roll over and get right back on its feet and keep going. That's fucking sick. <laughs> yeah. It should be an impressive rig. And also one of the other additions, when this is completed, can be supercharger and give it a little more power. Nice. Not that it needs it, but... No, I, I like just the way it drives. That's powerhouse. Yep. You know, it'll go from zero to 60 like that with a 44 inch tire it's pretty impressive um, and by day this is a muffler shop by night it's a monster truck shop so and, and it's also a place where you point guns at your friend's head yeah <laughs> there's a company that helped me out a lot with this build they're the ones who did the access for me called Dynatrack they're out of California they'll take care of all your axle needs whether you have a monster truck a desert truck or even a Mustang like yours, they're called Dynatrack, they're out of California. Look them up, They'll, those guys are great, they'll help you out. They really 
helped me big time. I'll make sure to put a link in there too. Yeah, they have a site. Throw a link for Dynatrack and uh, this truck wouldn't go as good as it was if it wasn't for those axles. It's uh, they're very impressive. So check nice. them out if you need them. Yeah, well, thanks for thanks for letting me uh, check this thing out a little bit more.